I want to say something about carbohydrates and your lady hormones and why it's harder to lose weight if your hormones are out of balance and if you're a woman. So most people particularly find it difficult once they get over 40. And the same is true as you've been diagnosed with a hormonal condition like PCOS, so polycystic ovary syndrome. And this is because one of the things that many women experience in the run up to the menopause is a feeling that they're being driven by some kind of mysterious force to eat all the kinds of things they know they shouldn't be eating, but they feel powerless to stop. So there are some good chemical reasons why you might experience cravings and why it might be harder to shift the weight. It's no surprise then that the hormone most at play is insulin. And around this time, you often become less sensitive to insulin and you can no longer deal with the same amount of carbs in your diet that you used to be able to handle. It's brutal, but it's just what's so. And a lack of sensitivity to insulin is often also lurking behind some of the more obvious symptoms linked to menopause, like hot flushes, exhaustion, difficulty concentrating, that dreadful brain fog and weight gain. And then there's the stress hormone cortisol, which keeps the glucose in the blood high and has you craving carbs. And here's how that works. As estrogen decreases, the body is less well able to regulate cortisol, which means you experience stress more readily. More stress equals chemical signals to eat more carbs and also to comfort eat. Here's another thing, the happy hormone serotonin also decreases as estrogen levels fall and this increases your appetite and the need to eat those traditional reward foods. So it's small wonder that with all those extra hormones raging around the body, all those chemical messages, the experience is that you lose your call cool and your control over what you choose to eat. But again, more good news. This way of eating, the very low carb way of eating, will help bring all of that into balance because it's going to be controlling the amount of insulin that's raging around your body.